What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I just got over here to the shop a few minutes ago over at Mike's. We got it back on the lift again. I wanted to share some data with you guys. These BSI, these Black Sheep Industries, these 60 millimeter waste cakes are doing something I didn't think was possible. So I don't know exactly what's happening and why it's happening, but it's freaking awesome. Let me show you what the data is from the run I got and compare it to uh, some of the previous runs when I was having some boost control issues. Check it out guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Go to turbojohnracing.com to grab yourself some merchandise and go to Black Sheep Industries and grab some awesome wastegates and blow off valves. Check it out, guys. The boost control is incredible. And man, I am, honestly, dude, I had no idea that the boost control that I saw on the data log and the other things that I saw on the data log are, are, are even possible. I mean, it's just crazy. I don't really understand exactly what's happening but it's happening. Let me show you uh, what it is. Uh, go check them out, guys. These things are awesome. So check it out. So these are my two data logs. I just wanted to show y'all the difference in the back pressure that I saw. And I've got hundreds of runs, and this is all consistent on my previous runs. So I know this is one of the things that is gonna be beneficial. Now this run right here particularly, uh, you can see that the, the target dome actually followed uh, the boost curve reasonably well. So uh, when I'm looking at it, what I'm, what I'm looking at here, you can see the, the actual, the chart up top. Um, red is RPM, uh, purple is actual boost, uh, yellow is oil pressure. Let's get rid of the oil pressure because that makes it look kind of funny. Adding more stuff in there that we don't need. Bump scramble button we don't need. Let's get rid of that. So you can see boost pressure is the one I just took away. That is boost pressure. Dome pressure is actually the purple line. And so the solid line is the new waste gates, the Black Sheep Industries BSI 60 millimeter gates. Now previously, when you looked over there, the, the target dome and the actual dome pressure, I mean, it was kind of all over the place. Sometimes it's two tenths behind it. Sometimes it's it's like right there on it. And so this particular run there, it was just a little bit behind it. Not that big a deal. But the big deal, what I wanted to show you guys, something that is something that I couldn't really understand. When you go over and you go all the way over to where the max boost is, so at the very top, and you see the dotted line, it made just a tad more boost. Now, if I went over there and clicked, it would show you that the it was about one more pound of boost at that point. For dome pressure at that point, it was actually eight PSI higher with the dotted line versus what I had with the uh, solid line with the Black Sheep Industries. And the reason I had to put more dome pressure on to make the same boost is because if you guys remember, uh, with my old waste gates, I did not have a spring in it other than like a real soft maybe a quarter pound, half pound starter spring. So the spring was very, very, very soft. So the Black Sheep Industries gates have got their softest one. I think it was like a seven pound spring, maybe in a five, five pound spring, but seven seems what I remember. But, and that kind of makes sense. This time I had 60 pounds of dome pressure on it. Last time I had 68 pounds of dome pressure. But the thing I want you guys to look at and see is the back pressure. The back pressure is was amazing here honestly uh when i first saw it looking at the back pressure i thought my back pressure sensor was messed up i was like my, my okay my back pressure sensors uh took it up here at 40 pounds of boost essentially uh 39.8 with the bsi waste gates and a little bit over 40 pounds of boost you can see the little it made a little bit more up there uh, but you can see the back pressure is a lot higher it is 15 pounds higher now the car ran a little bit better too. I had to really tone it down early 
Uh, but you can see that in, in the boost curve when you look at the, the line, the way I did it, the way I made it so that it was a nice curve instead of straight up because the track was too sticky. Now the ETs and mile per hour were similar, but with the boost pressure being about the same and back pressure being 15 pounds lower, that's, that's crazy to me. I mean, I don't understand. Um, you know, I talked to the guys uh, a little bit and, uh, you know, they, you know, Nick had mentioned that, you know, drive pressure was down. And I was like, well, I still don't understand because, I mean, with the other way skates, I mean, they're still open. And, I mean, granted, it had a softer spring in it, but it had more dome pressure. So it's still opening to vent off to make the, the pressure. So it, I don't understand, guys, but I'm, I mean, this is the data that I'm seeing. And this should, generally, when you have less back pressure, that means you can lean on the car more. So, like, I was close to, you know, one-to-one -one previously at this point. So, I'm like, okay, well, now I'm less than one-to-one. -one, so, that means I'm not even close to being, you know, where the turbo is the happiest uh, boost-wise. That also means that if the back pressure is less, then the tune-up, I can lean on it more uh, because I'm not getting the contamination from the back pressure going into into the motor so it's it's really odd guys i mean it is really crazy and you can see by everything the rpms i mean they basically all did the same thing um you know but it did you know it actually run uh, almost the same with one pound less boost and a lot less back pressure so when we start cranking on this thing i, I think i mean i think the gates are going to really I don't, I, it's going to make the car faster. It's got to, it's got to make the car faster. And so that's what we're, we're going to be doing when we're doing the front of the track stuff. It's pretty hot tune up when we do the front of the track stuff, um, back of the track stuff, you know, of course we go a lot slower, but I'm, a, I just wanted to show you guys, I wanted to share that data that, you know, and it may not happen on every car. Maybe my car is a fluke or maybe it's because the wastecakes were, you know, damaged and not working like they should have at all times. But I don't know, but it, I mean, I didn't notice that they were, you know, super, super, you know, tore up. And I mean, clearly that's why I've been running them forever. I noticed a few issues with them, but um, they were still working, but clearly they were not working to the best of their ability. So these Black Sheep Industry 60 millimeter gates, same boost level, 40 pounds of boost, 15 pounds less back pressure. It's amazing. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm really excited. So Nick and Kyle, I really appreciate it again, sending me those wastegates. They're amazing. They're working great. So uh, dude, if y'all don't have any good wastegates, get you some, hit them up, Black Sheep Industries. Uh, they've also got a lot of other cool parts. Go check out their website, get up with them. Good dudes. Go to Kyle's channel, Boosted Lifestyle. He's always doing some crazy stuff. Later guys, comment, like, and subscribe. See y'all soon, later.